Hey, it's Daryl from TechCrunch, and I'm here with, uh, sorry, what's your name? Ben Purdy. Ben, and Ben, what have we got here? Uh, well, this is sort of a, a multi-screen Chrome experiment. This whole thing is running on JavaScript. We've got seven machines set up, each one for each monitor, and uh, we've created this nice sort of skydiving simulator uh, where you're diving over stylized Google Maps. Okay, so this is using Google Maps then, and, and it's all in Chrome. Like, this yeah. is not... It looks like it could be, you know, a PlayStation 3 game or something. Exactly, I know. Yeah, this, uh, so what you're seeing is all running in JavaScript. Each one of these monitors just has a full screen instance of Chrome running on it. And then they're synchronized over what's called WebSockets, which is sort of a uh, low latency persistent connection that you can uh, establish now. It's uh, built into most modern browsers. And so there's a server machine behind this display that's sort of running the game state, and then it's broadcasting the current state of the game out to all of the seven display clients. And then they're uh, rendering what you're seeing there. Cool. So that sounds like you could do. I mean, you don't. You're using these large screens here, but you could also distribute it on mobile and do a bunch of other. Precisely. Things too. Yeah. So for doing the development, I had I would just have the control UI up, and then also one of the instances of the game screen up, um, and just run it with the keyboard. So it's it's very modular. Yeah. So and you, our, could, and you could add on. Could you go 360? Yeah, you could do 360 if we had the screens. So the the server doesn't even know how many view nodes are displayed or, or are connected to it. So it'll just broadcast out the game state to whoever's listening. So you could tack, you could tack displays on as, as much as you wanted to. Wow. And what about so, an Oculus Rift? Could you throw it up in there? You know, we had a lot of people talking <laughs> about the Oculus Rift. Um, I, I don't know if it would be possible, yeah. but my understanding of the way the Oculus Rift works, which again, could be totally wrong, uh, I think it might be feasible if you could create the, uh, the distortion needed to match up with the optics. Like mm -hmm. from what I've seen on the, uh, the displays, uh, hooked up to a Rift, it's sort of like a um, fisheye view of yeah. the scene. And so with WebGL, you would theoretically be able to distort the rendered scene in that same fashion, and I would think that it would probably be possible. Cool. Again, it would. I, I, I say this not actually knowing yeah. the details, but <laughs> it seems like it should work. Yeah. So what, what are your plans for this? Like, what are you going to do with it? So right now, um, it was a bit of a rush to get it ready in time, so I'm going to clean up the code base a little bit, and then our plan is to make it open source. And then I also want to make a standalone version that you can play just in a web browser. And uh, I'll probably submit it and see if I can get it on Chrome Experiments or something like that. Cool. And what kind of hardware is up there, too? It looks like a Kinect, but it's not one. Right? It's very similar to a Kinect. That's a 3D uh, depth sensor. And it's running on a software stack called OpenNI, which provides uh, really high level access to uh, body tracking. Mm -hmm. And so that's running on, that's the only piece that's not JavaScript. So we had to write a little C application uh, to do the body tracking. But then it just hands off the data to the game server, and the game server does all of the sort of motion dynamics with it. And so how sensitive is it? Like, what kind of? Um, it, I'm not sure the uh, the precision, but it it's I think it's in the millimeter-ish to inch range. Cool. So it's it's really, uh, like a lot of people are uh, sort of overdo it with the gestures, <laughs> but it, it's very subtle what you can do with it. So I guess uh, I guess we should just test it out here now, right? Get oh, a little absolutely. bit of uh, hands-on time? OK, great. Let's, uh, I, well, this guy's going right now. But <laughs> is it like a set demo, or is it like, a, is it there, do you, does it end when you hit the ground? Yeah, so it, once you get to a low enough level, uh, the parachute will deploy. But if you make it through that final black and white gate, there, there's sort of like a little fireworks sort of ending sequence that you get to see. Oh, OK. So you, are, the, are the stars actually worth something? Uh, they're, worth, they're worth star points. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I think he's about to finish here. Yeah, so oh, that was there it goes. Very close. Missed just missed it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the line quickly here just to do a little demo video. Sorry. <laughs> you hold that? Sure. Yeah. So am I a wave at it? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, so what you wanna do is uh, arms out to your sides will make you move forward and then arms uh, arms down will make you dive straight down and then leaning left and right will uh, steer. Oh, oh. Wait. Yeah, and like I said, you can be real subtle with it. Like it's. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm overdoing it. Almost like right. the less motion, the better. Yeah, and if you fly through that happy face, things will get crazy. Uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> we call this raver mode. <laughs> Is there a soundtrack to this? You know, we, we actually have audio working <laughs> in the desktop version. We just didn't have time to get it working here. But there's like a rushing wind noise and, you know, sort of pickup sounds when you hit the stars. Oh. 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 
This reminds me of, uh, what do you call it, Pilot Wings. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, sort of homage to some pre-existing games, but this is more about, you know, look what you can do with the technology stack that is running in like every instance of Chrome that's out there now. Like most people don't realize that this sort of stuff is possible yeah. with software running on almost every, every uh, laptop and PC, and now mobile devices too. Amazing, well thanks very much. Yeah, absolutely.